Hey guys, Paul here, and this is another video update for Voyager 2. Alrighty, so in this update, I'm not going to talk about some huge new feature or, um, you know, huge changes, things like that, because what I've been working on is uh, scripted missions. Um, so, you know, just to kind of back up, there's the game has sort of auto generated missions. These guys over here escort, courier, repair ship, destroy platform. These missions will always be here and you can repeat them as many times as you want. You can also uh, increase their difficulty level or decrease it uh, depending on what you want. But there's also these scripted missions, they're labeled priority mission. Uh, you can't change the difficulty. Um, they're a lot more strict with what ship you can take in, um, if it's a single ship mission, things like that. Uh, so I've been working on these, and I've added about 11 of them, um, and it took about over a month. Uh, so it's kind of concerning when you think about, you know, how many missions do I want in the game, um, divided by my, multiplied by my rate. You know, that could be a pretty, pretty significant chunk of time. So hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll increase my speed, um, and my output of missions and, and things like that. So there's quite a lot of different, let's do a mission while we talk. There's quite a lot of different factors why these missions take so, so long. Um, the first step is actually me just trying to think of a, think of an idea, an idea for the mission that's unique. Um, you know, because we don't want to waste the player's time. Because if I wanted to, I could just churn out, you know, 10, 20, 30 missions a day, where the same stuff happens. You know, some pirates show up, you destroy them, and that's it. Um, you know, I want to have a unique setting. I want to have you know, um, a unique happening with unique ships and unique challenge, uh, unique dialogue, some twists and turns, things like that. You know, those are the difficult components of a mission. Um, I have the combat, I have the engine, you know, I have the music playing, the whatever, uh, the stuff exploding, I have that. I just need a nice hook for the player to kind of introduce him to the game world if it's like a beginning mission. Uh, to fit the faction, um, because that's important. A lot of these missions are, are tied to a specific faction, so the mission has to fit it. But a faction, you know, you're not going to have the military telling you to kill pirates because, um, you know, the military kills pirates on their own. You know, they don't need you to, to fight for them. That's what, what they're there for. Uh, so missions have to be tailored to a faction um and then and things of that nature so that's that's a big challenge um the other challenge is you know besides the ideas is sometimes the ideas don't work out i'll start an, an, a, on an idea and i'll be like oh it's not quite how i like it that's kind of lame um you know kind of boring or i can't make it unique enough so i might stop and just abandon a mission uh abandon a mission and then try something else. There's there's some of that, uh, some of that going on. Uh, now I have a list of ideas that I work off of, and um, sometimes they go really well. Sometimes they don't. So it's 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 a variety of sort of these elements. Why why a mission might take might take a while, um, but either way. Um, these missions are getting added. Missions are getting added, they're being worked on, uh, and actually when the mission gets added, it, it's really, really nicely satisfying. It makes me really, really happy. Um, you know, not only is the game kind of growing in content for you guys, for the players, not only do I use these missions to kind of introduce you to certain elements, to the factions, to kind of make them more interesting, more unique, um but also during the making of the missions i tend to polish certain elements uh and, and make the just the game closer and closer to being release ready so what tends to happen is during making missions um i tend to see things like over and over 
Um, and sometimes if I see something like over and over that just bugs me, um, you know, that'll be my motivation to fix it, to improve it, uh, to add that extra polish into the game. Um, and that makes me that makes me makes me pretty happy. For example, we're gonna see in just a moment um, when we when we're moving in overworld mode, and when we switch into ship mode, the ship now is going to um, is going to enter via the gravity drive. That's a little tiny polish, you know, it took about a day. Uh, the other little tiny polish is in the load menu, you could all, there's a last ship mode autosave. So if I double click on this, I've loaded the game into ship mode. So that's another another autosave for you guys, which I think is going to like increase the experience. So what happened was, you know, while testing a mission, I got tired of just constantly like waiting for ship mode to kick in. So I added the autosave just to kick me into ship mode. Things like that. Um, other element was there was just some goofiness with uh, aim assist. It looked like the changes to the ship speeds and the ship projectiles made it like wildly inaccurate. Like my old formulas, my old methods like weren't adequate enough at the higher speeds. Uh, the inaccuracy was too great so I worked on that. Uh, there was some elements where ship AI in combat was acting kind of goofy. I worked on that. Some ships were like just stopping when they were fighting platforms. I fixed that. Uh, what was happening was they were matching speeds with platforms. And because platforms have zero speed, platforms don't move, then the ships didn't move. They just kind of sat there and got blasted. Um, so those kinds of things, you know, that that's why these missions kind of take a while. Because not only am I working on the mission itself, not only am I kind of racking my brain and trying to add all these unique elements, you know, then I polish the mission, I polish it, polish it, try to make it as best as I can. I tweak the difficulty, I play test, play test, play test. Um, sometimes a cutscene, a stupid little cutscene that takes 10 seconds, might take me several hours to do. Uh, so not only working on the mission takes time, but also working on the, the polish to just kind of support that. But either way, you know, it's a, it's a really, really satisfying process when it's over. Uh, it kind of motivates me a lot, makes me really happy um, to be doing this. Oh, another thing. You can now buy all cargo pods. So instead of clicking twice here to buy or, or sell, you can just click the all button. It's not a huge deal when you have one ship. But when you have a huge fleet, it becomes a huge deal, especially with the larger transporters. So this type of polish like this, you know, little stuff, um, not really worthy of, of, of doing a video update about, just kind of mentioning. Um, but just kind of adding into the game and just, just going in there, just kind of that kind of polish. Um, so, yeah, so that's very satisfying. Uh, at the same time, it's kind of frightening the rate at which I'm able to add missions. Uh, it's a little bit frightening, uh, but hopefully I'll increase my speed, um, pump out these missions, be more efficient. Uh, as time goes on, I'll see less need for polish as, as more polish gets added. Uh, I'll run into less issues <coughs> with, uh, with different missions. Um, and uh, I think that'll be, a, you know, We'll make a really, really cool game. Um, I think these missions add quite a lot to it, these cool little side missions. We want the game world to be... Wow, pretty big battle there, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, don't have to worry too much about my transport there. The military body hunters are just gonna mop up. Do my job for me. I still got a bounty off the that one. That's cool. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's what's been going on. Uh, working on these missions, um, things like that. Trying to trying to always come up with better ideas, more interesting ideas. Trying to keep things unique um, for you guys, for myself to keep things interesting. Um. So yeah, guys, uh, I appreciate any and all feedback on these. You might want to do a uh, 
do them in a spoiler section, things like that, just to not um, spoil these missions for other players. Uh, but any and all feedback would be cool. I try to always add some little unique thing to these missions, some little surprise. That's what the spoiler uh, spoiler would be for. Um, so that would be greatly appreciated, you know, feedback, things like that. Uh, praise. <laughs> Keep me motivated. Uh, uh, keep me motivated. Keep me going. Uh, things like that. So, you know, I've lo loved all your feedback so far. Um, really helps out a lot. So, hope you guys continue with continue with that. Um, yeah, yeah. So, once again, thank you very much for supporting the project. Without you guys, probably be you know working in an office right now somewhere. But instead, I'm you know I'm at home. Uh, working on my dream game here, Boy Destroyer 2. Um, so thank you very much for supporting the project. Thought you guys would be possible. Hope to see you guys, uh, you know, more of you guys supporting the project. <laughs> um, telling a friend, telling an enemy, telling whoever. Um, growing the community, you know, continue with the reviews, the feedbacks, things like that, guys. That, that really, really helps out a lot. I'll keep working on these little side missions. Uh, I'll keep adding polish. After that, I'll probably hopefully start working on the story missions, um, which again will be will take a lot of time. Will take a lot of time because those are even more important. Um, I haven't really written the story in my mind yet, so uh, putting it out into the game um, will be even even more challenging. And also, you know, because it's Christmas time, because it's the holiday time, I want to wish you guys a uh, Merry Christmas. Um, hope you guys get a chance to enjoy it, to relax a little bit, you know, maybe with a, with a game like Void Destroyer. Um, <laughs> spend some time uh, with games, with our really, really cool hobby um, that's there always for us. I think you know thanks to thanks to Steam thanks to all our all our really cool uh, game developers out there you know um, so I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas Happy New Year Ugh. wow Got blasted by something there huh um, yeah this might be a fitting end to an update me getting me getting destroyed by swarms of enemy ships um, so again Merry, having Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, uh, whatever you guys are celebrating. I hope you 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 have a have a good one. Um, thank you once again, once more, as always, always and forever. Thank you for supporting the project. Um, thank you for your reviews, your feedback, all those all those wonderful things. And I'll talk to you guys later. Battle's not over, so I guess <laughs> either you guys kill me or I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, this is actually good practice for me uh, playing and talking. I actually want to get a little bit better at this, even though it looks like I'm about to be destroyed by a buzzard. There we go. There's our end to our update. Horrible, horrible death.